Dean, a loss away from home, what do you make of it? A loss away from home. What do I make of it? We've lost. For the eight games left of the season, how do we keep confidence high? We're not losing. What can we do to change that? Make sure we win our battles individually. Make sure we don't make goalkeeping errors. Um, and basically, yeah, d uh, come here and we've got a battle. It's a tough place to come, Woken. Doyle has set his team up really well. I know they had injuries. Obviously, we have had several injuries. The positives for us are very simple. Danny's back, Gormo's back and Nicky's back. They're all, they're all back now. They're huge positives for us. Just how big of a positive will that be? And is there any more players we can expect to come back? Huge. They're massive players for us. Pritchard is still out with his back. Um, Freeman's been out with illness. So he's missed this weekend. Hopefully, we'll have him back Tuesday. Um, but we just need to get our key players back. Um, you see today um, in a scrappy game which to be fair to them I thought that was their, their game plan they slowed the game down they did what they had to do and full credit to them um, we were poor in possession uh, didn't win our individual battles well enough and all in all we gave away one of the worst goals I've ever seen us give away When we play these sides who are fighting relegation how hard is it to keep winning those and competing for those individual battles and those 50-50s? That's down to individual players That's, you know, I shouldn't be motivating them this time of the season um, and this is where you see who has the real minerals. See, we're still in a great position. I've seen the other results, so we're still on for our points target. And we're well on for that. We're eight games to go, so we go back to the hive Tuesday night, and we just got to pick ourselves up and make sure we we do the business come Tuesday night, which is going to be another tough game. There's no easy games in this division. You know, this is what people don't understand. You know, you come to anywhere in this division, it's so so tough. You'll see in different results again today. Um, apart from Chesterfield, who have absolutely romped the division. And they deserve everything they've got. And uh, Cookie's done a fantastic job. Everyone else is of it even keel. So, um, and you can see that we're in the division itself, where, where the points totals are for both teams. This relegation, like Woken were in relegation last year, were they? Where did they come last year? There you go. Yeah. yeah they come fourth. We come fifth, and now we're second. So, yeah. And they have got a good group of players, and they've invested in the group. Because I was sitting beside loads of them up there, because I've got a touchline man. So, when I'm sitting beside them, I see Reese Brown, I see Jim Kellerman. I see Denon Lewis, they've got good players here, really good players, and a really good young manager as well. I overheard a fan the other day from Barnet saying that we need to approach every game as a cup final. Do you agree with that? Yeah, of course, that's what we have done. You know, look, we're probably out battle today, that's, and that's disappointing. Um, and then we give ourselves a little bit of a mountain to climb. Not a big mountain, but I thought I felt we scored a goal, to be honest, in, in open play. I'd love to see that again. Nicky scored a header. It looked like to me it was really good play down the right hand side. Good in, uh, interplay between uh, Danny. Uh, Wint and obviously Nicky got, in, got on the end of it but um, now nah, look listen for the standards we've set ourselves we can't just think, walk up and think we're going to roll over teams that just doesn't work that way and the sooner better we get our strongest team back it'll be better for everybody and then finally just away from today's game Jack Blower signed his first professional contract with the club how good is it to bring as a manager to bring those players through from the academy yeah look listen we want to bring them through um, that's all part of the business but I said we've got to concentrate on Saturday's results first and foremost and the majority of them have been very positive. Today's a negative one um, but the performance first half was really lethargic, really sluggish and then obviously with the goal they've scored realistically it's, uh, it's criminal defending for most but for young Jack it's, uh, it's positive for him and his family and he's got a long way to go to be a top professional footballer so we'll see if that investment's going to work out for us in time. Thanks for your time.